Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode five of the Life After Deconstruction podcast. My name is Anthony Miller, and today I am super excited to share with you a brief follow up discussion and to alert you to an event that's going to be happening uh, after my episode four discussion with my dear friend Lindsay Hansen Park, the executive director of Sunstone, about community and belonging. F- post uh, deconstruction. In that episode, I shared uh, with Lindsay, with the viewer and listener, the significance of community, belonging, and friendships that I've developed participating in the annual Salt Lake City Sunstone Symposium. Early in my faith journey, it was a contributing factor to my ability to exit my dark night of the soul period. When I attended, I went to different sessions that were really relevant to what my experience is at the time. And so like, I didn't go to like esoteric doctrine or church history or biblical scholarship or current events kinds of sessions at uh, the Sunstone Symposium. I went to sessions that were directly about the kinds of things that I was experiencing. And I found other people who were just like me And it helped me in my healing process uh, very, very significant to me. In the following year, I went back to the Salt Lake City Sunstone Symposium and I volunteered uh, to moderate uh, different sessions. And for the last five consecutive years, I've either uh, been a uh, speaker or uh, or a presenter or a co-presenter with different people about a variety of different topics that primarily focus on, on what happens after deconstruction uh, with relationships and growth and spirituality, things like that. I believe in the Sunstone uh, organization. I believe in the Salt Lake City uh, Sunstone Symposium, what they do. I financially support them and I continue, I, I plan to continue to volunteer to be either a presenter or a co-presenter for the coming years. Now, I want to let you know that there are other organizations that focus that are that are nonprofits that focus on or that have a focus uh, like some of the focus of Sunstone that have a focus on post deconstruction thriving and growing and I've participated in some of those groups and one of those groups is an organization called Thrive. Now, in 2019, I participated in a Thrive conference in Salt Lake City where I gave a presentation about the experience of processing a sense of grief and betrayal in a faith crisis and growing beyond that. It was received well. I had the opportunity to share that episode in a Mormon Stories interview in episodes uh, 1166 through 1167. Um, I uh, presented at uh, Thrive Day uh, Costa Mesa, California earlier this year in 2022, uh, where I shared a pre-release version of my TEDx talk, Thriving and Building Community After a Faith Crisis, and uh, developed and nourished some friendships there that I think, I believe, are going to be significant uh, for the rest of my life. And um, I wanted to let you know or alert you to an event that is happening February 24th to 26th in St. George, Utah. It's called Thrive St. George, where I will attend and be a speaker. I'm going to talk about life after deconstruction. I have several other friends who are also uh, speakers at that event. And I wanted to let you know about it. I wanted to maybe invite you to come participate in that event. It seems like February in St. George, Utah, the weather is going to be better than in Billings, Montana, and a lot of other places in the country. And so if you want to use this as an excuse to go someplace warm or come meet me or come participate in uh, an event where the focus is really about post-deconstruction thriving, I wanted to invite you uh, and and make you aware of that event. So what I'm going to share with you now is a brief discussion that I had with one of my friends uh, who lives in Southern Utah, Sarah, and she is one of the co-organizers, co-hosts of the event, and she's going to let you know a little bit about the event, and I hope you enjoy the conversation. Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Sarah Spagnolo, uh, and she is one of the hosts of the St. George Thrive event at the end of February uh, in 2023. And I invited her to come on to talk a little bit about the event, what other kinds of events have happened in the past, what what is intended, who the target audience is for the event, the speakers, and anything else that she'd like to share a, a, about the event. So Sarah, could you please introduce yourself a little bit and let us know yeah. what this is about? 
<laughs> Absolutely. I'm a little nervous, but it's fine. Um, I'm Sarah. I live in Southern Utah. Um, I left Mormonism about five years ago and, you know, uh, I really sought out a community after I left and, um, Thrive has been a great way for me to be involved in making connections. And so this is our second year uh, doing Thrive. And I absolutely love being a part of it and organizing it is so much fun. And I've made so many lasting relationships. So we're really excited to have another one on the 24th through the 26th of February. I'm super excited about it because I'm going to be there. I'm one of the speakers. I know. I know. I'm so excited. You were my first pick. I was so excited. Oh, very kind. Thank you so much. Well, tell us a little about, about the schedule of the event uh, and what you hope to accomplish with that schedule. Okay. So it's a three-day event and um, we do sell tickets to the event, but it's $30 for all three days. So you're getting Friday night, the 24th, which is going to be kind of a mix and mingle, kind of get to know you. No big deal kind of easy on the pressure so just you know asking questions and spending time together then the 25th um we kick it off um with registration and we have a lineup of speakers we have um some musical numbers coming in and alan and katie mount are going to be there which oh. i know you and i love alan and katie two of my favorite people yes they're going to be there and then um Anthony, of course, you'll be speaking right after lunch. And we have Bill and Amanda Real speaking together, which will be fantastic. I don't know if you spent much time with Amanda, but she is one of my favorite human beings. Absolutely. She uh, is a fireball. Definitely. Yeah, I love them so much. And then um, we're having Donna Angel. Um, I think her last name is Show Walter now. Okay. Um, she to speak and um tommy johnson i don't know if you are on tiktok at all but the I, I am the tomsters channel is hilarious oh my gosh he is hilarious and he has a massive following and his tiktoks are just so relatable i'm so excited he's coming down and he's gonna speak to us and um He's actually going to do some stand-up on, on Friday night for us. So we're really excited. So after Tommy, we do dinner and then come back and we're going to do stand-up comedy, karaoke, a cash bar, and um, just hang out in, you know, Saturday evening. Excuse me, that was Saturday evening. And then Sunday, um, we're going to have more music and John Dillon will be there to kind of wrap things up for us. And there's going to be lots of different resources there. Um on ways to get involved in your community. Um, in Circle House will be there and a couple different um, organizations that provide support to those that are going through a faith crisis. And um, we invite everybody to come. Uh, it's majority of people there will be there for a post-Mormon, you know, thrive beyond religion. Mostly it will be a Mormon experience, but we invite anybody who's going through any kind of faith crisis. We have a lot of, um, the FLDS down here in Southern Utah. So we, we would love for them, anyone in that community to come or even mixed faith marriages to come. Alan and Katie will be there with their state uh, marriage on a tightrope podcast and they're huge in that community. So we encourage anybody of any faith or belief to come and come and support their loved ones that are maybe going through a faith crisis and um, get the support and resources and find a community, you know, of people that are going some through something similar. So it's going to be great. Yeah, I, I remember uh, when I came down and presented uh, to the Southern Utah Post-Mormon Support Group uh, that is co-hosting, I guess, this or part of the, the Thrive Day event, I, I noticed that there was the whole spectrum there. There were people who were like in their first two weeks of a faith crisis. And there were people who went through this more than 20 years ago. There were people who self-identified as, uh, as Christian. Uh, and there were people who self-identified as agnostic or atheist and everything really in between as mm -hmm. well. And it see, and there were, and there were believing members there as well. And so it, it seemed interesting to me that, it, it was a place and a setting that was safe and supportive to the entire spectrum of experience. Yeah, we, we love it. You know, we kind of start the meeting by asking like, how long 
who's been here, been out for 10 years or less than 10 years. And we kind of go through that spectrum just so people can see that it's, it's a process, you know, like, um, everybody has a different journey, but we can be together in it, you know, in something that's really difficult and hard. Um, finding community is one of the most healing parts, um, after you lose, lose your community in Mormonism or whatever religion you may be coming from. It's, it's one of the most challenging things. So we want to recreate that as much as we can and help people find each other because I don't know, that was the most healing thing for me was to find people that could validate my experience and, um, you know, find a tribe again. It was really, really helpful. Absolutely. So it's at the Hilton Garden Inn. Yep. February 24th to 26th. Yeah. Uh, in St. George. And uh, people buy tickets by going to the website. Yes. Thri- thrivebeyondreligion.com, right? Events. Events. And, yeah. yeah. And you can buy your tickets online. And um, like I said, they're $30 for all three days. This isn't a, a way of making money. We're just covering the cost of the room rentals and some gas for people to travel down, it, um, the speakers to travel down and so this is just a way to get together. Um, and we're so excited. Last year, we had about 300 people come. Wow. So that was great. And we're expecting the same hope. You know, we would love to keep growing and making this bigger. Um, I'm sure we would probably get more than 300 people. But the Hilton Garden is like, no, <laughs> not more than 300 that. is the fire code. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's a huge need for it. And um, we're just super excited to to have people come and the people that choose to come, come. So um, it's going to be super fun too. I'm excited. Karaoke is always fun. John Dillon is like a master of karaoke and it's so fun and everybody gets together and hangs out and it's, it's a good time. Absolutely. He's hilarious. His karaoke. Yeah. uh, yeah, It's like a religion almost. Yeah. Yeah, It's fantastic. (laughs) Don't All right. stop my journey every time. <laughs> right, right. All right. So everyone, um, use this as an excuse to go to the warmer climate of St. Yeah. George, Utah at the end of February. Uh, come see me. I'll be there. Come see Sarah. Come see a lot of other really great speakers and people and um, and and come participate in a community that can support you uh, in your journey wherever you yeah. are. 